Okay, give me a second. I just need to beat this level. Uh, Dr. Brain, blah, 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 distracted dryers. Oh, drivers, distracted drivers. Sending a text message, talking on a cell phone, checking your social media, or even having a snack. There are a lot of ways to get distracted while driving. But if the human brain is so smart, how come we can't do a few small tasks while working on a big one? The answer has to do with the limits of our brains. Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, so my real name is Crystal Dolor, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, so it's just easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain. When we pay attention, we select a certain amount of information for our brains to process and then filter out everything else. This is usually what we mean by focusing, limiting our attention to one task. When we're driving, certain regions of the brain are active, like the motor cortex, which helps with the planning and control of movement, and the occipital cortex, which helps with depth perception and visual processing, helping us anticipate turns in the road and adjust to oncoming traffic. This usually works pretty well, until we hear a text message alert or see a billboard with our favorite actor on it. Then our attention shifts to these new signals, and the activity in the brain regions needed for driving is diminished as we focus on the new task or stimuli. We know it's possible for the human brain to perform more than one task at a time. I mean, you might actually be watching me right now while also texting or scrolling on your phone. If so, follow me. I mean, I can always use more engagement. Okay, wait. <laughs> now I'm getting distracted. But there's a limit to our brain's ability to do multiple tasks well. When we multitask, we increase our cognitive load or the amount of work that our brains need to do. As a result, we take longer to complete each of our tasks and we make more mistakes. This isn't a big deal while watching television on your couch, but it can be dangerous when you're driving along at 60 miles an hour. When we start multitasking, our brains must juggle multiple sources of information and organize goals for multiple tasks at a time. This signal interference makes it difficult for our brain to determine what information is relevant and assign it to the right task. So your overall processing speed slows down. The information your brain processes while putting on mascara isn't relevant to stopping at a stoplight and scarfing down your double cheeseburger is a totally different job than looking out for pedestrians. If our brain is processing multiple tasks, our response time lengthens and it takes us longer to respond. This can be especially concerning when one of the tasks requires a quick response, like hitting the brakes because the car in front of us has stopped. So make sure you keep your eyes on the road and your brain focused on the task at hand. Actually, let's practice that right now. I put a lot of effort into making this show, so stop multitasking and focus on what's important, me. Okay, bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.